Summer is usually that time of the year when developers and publishers give us some time to catch up on games we might have missed out on in the previous months and leave the most anticipated releases for fall or the so-called holiday season. Nevertheless, that trend seems to be slowly changing over the years, and the months of July and August now are packed with releases, which, while not marketed as strongly as typical AAA games, can be hidden gems that could be worth your while. If you don't know what to play this summer, here's our guide of the most promising releases of summer of 2017. <music> Despite the naive anime-like visuals, Valkyria Chronicles from the early days of the PS3 was an addictive tactical RPG with steampunk aesthetics and darker moments depicting the horrors of war. The series seemed to have almost died out by the start of the next generation, but Sega seems to have high hopes for the franchise and is bringing us a spin-off title that can be a great starting point for newcomers. Just like in the previous games, in Valkyria Revolution, we'll lead a squad of very specialist soldiers against a seemingly undefeatable empire, and we can expect all sorts of talking about politics and strategizing. The latest game in the series introduces a new battle system, which might frighten some fans, but it looks promising nevertheless. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Those words seem to summarize a lot of gaming franchises that have gone down the drain in the recent memory. The PlayStation era legend, Crash Bandicoot, might have been a victim of just that, but many fans still have fond memories of the original trilogy, back when Naughty Dog was making those games for the first PlayStation. The upcoming remaster of their original trilogy, called Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy, won't add much in terms of content, but will feature remastered audio, 4K resolution, and an addition of time trials, which were only in the third game initially. The talented indie team at Supergiant Games got recognized thanks to their stellar RPG games Bastion and Transistor. The upcoming Pyre will be another action RPG from the team and will mix Transistor's formula with the gameplay style of MOBA games. Leading a team of outcasts, we'll venture through a picturesque high fantasy world, scavenge, develop our characters and battle enemies. The upcoming Pyre will be the team's first title to introduce any form of multiplayer, as next to playing online, we'll be also able to enjoy couch co-op and go against our friends. In battles, we'll go to a separate arena, and like in a fantasy version of Rocket League of sorts, we'll try to damage the enemy's Pyre while protecting our own with the use of a special magical orb. It surely sounds original, and seeing how Supergiant makes games, it will also likely have a pleasant soundtrack and be very addictive. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. Stop! If there's anything Ninja Theory can make, it's action-adventure hack-and-slash games with a unique art style. Their upcoming Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice will take us to a dark fantasy world inspired by Celtic and Nordic mythology, and will be much more focused on telling the story than, let's say, their previous noticeable release, Devil May Cry. Hellblade looks utterly gorgeous and has an instantly likable, strong female protagonist, but the digital-only release and a smaller budget, as the developers themselves called a AAA indie game, make us a bit worried. Nevertheless, last year's Fury proved that even smaller slasher games can be greatly satisfying for the fans of the genre, so we keep our fingers crossed for Hellblade's success. In 2017, Persephone Brimstone gathered an unruly band of misfits to take on the evil Dr. Babylon and his criminal legion. I should have known. To our surprise, Agents of Mayhem, which seems like the love child of Sunset Overdrive and Far Cry Blood Dragon, is a futuristic spin-off of the Saints Row series. In the game, we will pick a small team of three from 12 available agents, trashing the streets of the futuristic version of Seoul, we will use various weapons and vehicles at our disposal to bring down the evil organization called The Legion. The over-the-top execution and the 80s pop culture-inspired visuals might throw some players off, but throughout the years Volition Software proved that they can make open-world games that provide both style and substance. In other words, if you liked Saints Row, Agents of Mayhem is just for you. Just like Crash, Sonic never managed to recreate the magic that accompanied his early adventures. 
To celebrate the Unlucky Series 25th anniversary, Sega is releasing Sonic Mania, which will be a 2D-based platformer paying homage to the series' roots. Next to the reimagined classic stages, we will get new areas, but designed in such a way that the game looks like it could have been released back in the 90s. The new retro adventures of Sonic, Tails and Knuckles, while won't be able to fully wash away the bad taste left by the previous Sonic games, might win over some new fans for the sake of the fond gaming legend and might prove to be an enjoyable platformer. Don't worry. If Asov's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons, transports hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. The Last of Us Left Behind DLC proved that Naughty Dog can make really good standalone DLCs that don't fail in comparison with the source material, and that is why we're really excited for their next release. The upcoming Uncharted Lost Legacy is set after the events of Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, and will let us play as Chloe, who has been regrettably absent from Drake's latest adventure. Just like in the previous Uncharted games, we can count on audiovisual vistas, cover-based shooting, and some woody dialogue. Apart from the female lead, what sets Lost Legacy apart from the previous Uncharted games is, as the developers promise, a bigger emphasis on stealth, which, while was a valid option in Thief's End, was often ignored by the fans. Ok guys, that's it. That's our release guide for the games of summer of 2017. If you missed something interesting, feel free to let us know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.